the worst way to get to know a woman is by having sex with her. That's another one that I think you guys don't recognize. That if you're trying to get to know a woman, the best thing you could do is not be chemically addicted to her. And that's exactly what happens. I don't care what anybody says because I speak to thousands of men. Hundreds of men are in my coaching program. Thousands of men send me questions via DM. Every single time, it's not about the girl being addicted to them. Very rarely do I hear, oh man, there's this girl, I had sex with her and now she won't leave me alone. I don't hear that. You know what I hear? Oh man, I'm having sex with this girl and I can't get her out of my mind and she's treating me like shit, but I can't leave her. Elliot, what do I do? I have this girlfriend for the past six years and I, every time I try to dump her, I can't. Every time I try, she throws a temper tantrum and shows me how horrible her character is. I just can't leave her. I can't get her away from her. My next question is, are you having sex with her? Yeah. Well, you need to stop having sex because that's what's keeping you hooked. She's a drug dealer. You think drug addicts love their drug dealers? No, they love the drug. That's why they keep going back. Their drug, you think their drug dealer respects the drug addict? No. That's, a, that's an abusive relationship. The drug dealer knows this, this motherfucker needs what I got. And so as long as I got what he needs, he's going to keep slinking his little snatty butt around here. And I've got him hooked. And I can treat him any way I want because he needs my drug. That's how the girls treat you guys. Why? Because you're fornicating. There's a reason why it's a sin. Not because God doesn't want you to have a good time. Because he doesn't want you to fall into the folly of fornicating with a bad woman that ain't going to be a good wife. If that's what you want. Once again, if you like that, then that's cool. The other thing, too, is a lot of guys like they're discerning whether or not this woman is a good woman. Like they don't know. They can't tell. They're like, hey, Elliot, what do you think about this? And they'll give me stories about this woman. Hey, Elliot, what do you think about this woman? What do you think about this situation? What do you think? About and then I, my answer always is stop having sex with her so you could see her more clearly. As long as you got the sex goggles on, you can't see a woman for what she is. I get it. A lot of guys talk about post nut clarity and stuff. And listen, I'm just giving you wisdom based on my experience. And it's not about boning a lot of bitches. It's about depth of experience and understanding and getting to know a woman so well that you got to wrap it around your finger. You see what I'm saying? Porn. 68% of church going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be, to live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.